Welcome to the next lesson. So, so far we've uh, seen how to create uh, our tables. We managed to create three tables and uh, we managed to create uh, three forms for each table. So the last thing we did was uh, these forms here. Uh, now, I want us to talk about uh, queries. Now, a query is uh, simply used to extract data from your tables, uh, at the same time analyze the data or even do calculations on the data. So in this uh, lesson here, I want to do a simple two or one query that uh, will do some uh, calculations. So if we check our tables here, that is the product table, we have the quantity in stock. And if we do our orders table, we have the quantity that each customer bought. So we need to see how to get the balance of the items that are left so that uh, we don't run out of stock and we don't notice. So let's do that. So what we do here is uh, we need to come to our create tab here. And uh, we have two options of creating our queries. We have a uh, query wizard and query design. Now uh, I'll use the query wizard later. But for now, let's uh, use a uh, query design. When you click on it, you get this option. Uh, this dialog box for short tables. It shows you the tables that you have. So you can create a your queries from uh, tables or from other queries. Now, in this case, we only have queries. Uh, we only have table, sorry, so we create from table. So we need the orders table, click on it and click add here. And we need the product table, click on it and click add here and uh, choose close. And this is our table that we have here. Now, we need to get our fields from our table here. We need to get our fields from our tables and add them to the query grid here on the fields title. So there are various ways you can do this. The first one is you click on the field name and uh, drag it on the title here and release it. The other option is uh, just double click on the field name and it will be added automatically. So the quantity in stock, perfect. Then on the orders table here, I'll just pick quantity. Now we need to do a subtraction of the quantity in stock and the quantity here so that we get the balance remaining. So on the next field here, we will create our expression or formula. So you come here on this field and uh, you can simply start typing it in there or you can do a right click and choose a field function here. So you have this field. So here is where you do your expression. So simply what we'll do is uh, we will say balance is equal to now uh, in access equal to is a full column so balance equal to then our fields or these field names just the way they are written we need to carry them the way they are but we put them in square bracket so first one is a uh, quantity underscore in underscore stock that way then close the square bracket minus open the square bracket, then the last one, quantity. That way then close the square bracket. And that expression is as easy as that. So if we click on OK here, you will notice that our expression is down here now. So first save this query. We can call this a bal uh, uh, balance QLY. And uh, do OK. Now, if we test this query now, you have to be on design here and click on run. So you'll notice our query is working. So this is what we have. So our product ID, the product name, OK, increase this column by that way. The product name, the quantity, you can notice the quantity in stock here. Then the quantity that the client or customer bought was 10, so the balance is 20. So with this, you can keep a nice track of the items or the balance of items that are remaining in your uh, in your stock so that you you don't run out of the items okay uh, perfect so that's that's how we do a simple query so i'll save this and uh close this and uh let us do one more query uh we will come to orders here you will notice that uh, a customer bought uh, 10, 10 uh, laptops in this case, and uh, the price of one is uh, this amount. So we need to find the total price that the customer 
paid for this item. So let's try and do another query to do that. So again, we come to create here and we pick our query design. Now the table that we need here is a customer and orders. We double click, we get them. So what we'll pick here is a, let's pick the customer ID, the first name and the last name. Then from the order table here, let us, uh, let's pick the uh, product ID. We need it, okay. Product ID, the quantity and uh, the price, perfect. Then we come onto this next column here. Then again, do a right click and uh, choose build. Now you need to get the total amount that uh, a customer will pay for the number of items that he has selected. So let us do here a column by title total. Total amount equal to. Now for us to get that we simply supposed to take the quantity and multiply it by price. So square bracket and do the quantity that way. Close the square bracket, multiply by square bracket, and the price, close the square bracket. As simple as that. Now, if you save this, we have a value or expression. Save that. Let us call these uh, totals query. Save that. Now, let's test the query. If we do a run here, so you have to be on design, then click on run. And there we have, so... You can see that uh, this person bought uh, 10 laptops. One of them was uh, 95,000, so they will be 950 and so on. So you can see the quantity and uh, the price, the number you bought times the amount and you get the price. So that's how we do. And that's how we create uh, simple queries. Now on the next lesson, we will see how to do more queries to do various tasks so thank you for watching and hope this will help you create a few simple queries and uh, get used to it thank you